now somehow real uh, in America. Left-wing protesters in Arizona made it clear they despise Donald Trump, but they still like him more than many members of the press do. They flailed about in their attempts to one-up one another's rhetoric last night. Watch this. And I think it's one of the more morally shocking things that Trump has done, which is saying something, is he's basically going there in the hopes of starting a riot. The only defensible explanation is if he is not mentally well, because if he is, then he is just such an incredible, self-centered, narcissistic, unfit jerk. He has given oxygen to racists. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really said anything, denounced the alt-right. He talked about yeah. the KKK and whatever. He hasn't really um, done that. He is clearly trying to ignite a civil war in this country. Mm -hmm. He has not tamped down race. I kind of like Don Lemon. How could you not? But igniting civil war? Step back from the ledge, Don. You're getting close. Newt Gingrich is an author, thinker, Trump advisor, former Speaker of the House, of course, and he joins us in the studio tonight. Mr. Speaker, igniting a civil war, I mean, how seriously should we take oh, rhetoric I think, like that? I think maybe you and I disagree. I think very seriously. Uh, okay. I think uh, um, Prager did a piece about three months ago on America's second civil war arguing that what, what you're seeing with Antifa, what you're seeing on college campuses, what you're seeing to some extent in the bureaucracy is a real division of the country. You just had the, the former director of national intelligence explain that he thinks Trump may not be mentally stable enough to be president. This is the one who lied to Congress about spying yes. on Americans? Uh, no, I, sadly, I, I knew Clapper back when he was a normal military guy before he went off the deep end. But, I mean, he, he clearly spun out in a way. But you've had these kind of things going on. And so I think the gap is getting wider. I think that, that the, the chaos, what happened to, to the left is at 8 o'clock in the evening, Hillary was going to break the glass ceiling, and at 11 o'clock in the evening, Donald J. Trump was going to be president. And the hard left has never recovered. It's the great trauma that they have never recovered from. And they're now seeing their world starting to be taken apart. I mean, instead of a left-wing judge, they get a right-wing judge. You know, instead of more regulations, they're getting less regulations. Instead of America being defeated and weak, America suddenly is getting stronger and beginning to win. I mean, it's horrifying if you're a real left-winger. So we, I spent a lot of time on the show 